Joining me live is Victoria State Emergency Service Chief Officer at Operations, Tim Weirbush. Tim, thank you for your time today. Um, things are looking a little clearer, which is, of course, great news for locals in the area, a relief for anxious residents there. Uh, what warnings are currently in place at the moment? Yes, good morning, Holly. I guess whilst we are starting to see some of our river systems recede around some communities, we are asking other communities to remain vigilant as the floodwaters are still passing down through the systems at a moderate flood level. So our focus today is particularly on the Goulburn River from Murchison all the way through to Marutna and Shepparton, where we are expecting to see a moderate flood peak this morning at Murchison and that will then peak tomorrow at Shepparton and Marutna. It'll be well below the 2022 level, but it is still a, of a concern in terms of water being across roads and in streets of some of those communities. If we then go across to the Campaspe River, there's also a watch and act out there at the moment for the Campaspe River into Echuca. Um, minor flooding is only expected, but again, roads may be cut and rural inundation around the back of some of the properties as it comes around the back of town at Echuca. And then also over on the Bull Oak and Bendigo Creeks, we're also expecting to see impacts through those communities, through Pyramid Hill, through to the back of Kerrang. And again, roads will be cut, widespread rural inundation. And so the flood emergency is not over yet. Yeah, indeed, definitely. You speak about those river catchments there and the flood water is still expected to flow through. Um, do we know the impact of the flood so far? We know that several homes have been impacted here. Um, do we know the true extent of that yet? Yeah, so we're now starting to see some of that impact assessment come through as waters recede around some of the communities. At Yay, we've seen six properties where above floor flooding has occurred, another 17 properties where water was over the properties. Um, as we move down the Goulburn to Seymour, there are seven businesses that were directly impacted above floor, another 11 residential properties that either had flooding above floor or immediately below floor affecting foundations. Um, and so we're now doing impact assessments in and around Rochester where the waters have receded overnight um, and we'll continue to do that. Also at Gornong um, to the north of Bendigo, we saw a number of properties that were directly impacted as a result of those significant storms a couple of days ago. Um, now, Tim, what's the advice to locals in the area? We saw footage yesterday um, shared where a lady uh, had gone out to take a photo of the floodwaters, of course. Um, can you just reiterate advice to locals uh, in the area during this time of floodwaters? Look, floodwaters are inherently dangerous. Um, when they're moving as fast as they are, they will sweep you off your feet. And in particular, vehicles driving into flood water is our greatest risk. We've seen 52 flood rescues during this event, 52 too many. Um, we can't emphasise enough, if you come across flash flood waters, turn around, find an alternate route, don't take the risk. It could be the last decision you make. And also we know that there are, um, of course, going to be extensive clean-up efforts here and, and residents in the area are, of course, impacted and I guess a little bit anxious because of the 2022 event too. Um, so they are breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief at the moment. Um, but where can residents go to for support and help? We know that those hubs were set up back in 2022. Um, but what's your advice to people who have been impacted at the moment? Yes, yeah, so local government with the support of Emergency Recovery Victoria have got hubs, particularly in locations like Seymour and Rochester, um, where those communities can directly go and receive support. There's also the flood emergency hotline on 1800 560 760, where people that may have been directly impacted by flooding can uh, call and seek that support if necessary. Tim, thank you for your time today. Appreciate it. Thank you.